Hello and welcome to the first episode of Planet Strand. Today, my guest is Meve. Hello. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Meve is the head of Panto. Well, technically, I let Meve explain who she is um, in a mm-hmm. bit. Um, so, yeah, Meve, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Fuck, I'm not too bad. It's a, it's a different world we live in at the moment. Um, oh, totally, without a doubt. We, we would prefer Planet Strand to be done face to face, but with social distancing, yeah. we weren't too sure if we could get away with it at the moment. So, we're going to stick with Zoom. Um, mm-hmm. Save so me I, first. So, um, do you mind explaining to the audience who exactly are you? Well, I'm Maeve McGee, and I am the producer for the pantomime this year. I study in Strand Millis, and I'm in my final year of the primary course. And that's basically all there is to say. Brilliant. So, how did you get ever get into Panto? I was in my second year of Strand, and I dragged my friend along because I heard there was the Panto meeting taking place, and I was like, "Come with me, please come to the drama theatre. I don't want to go on my own." And then she came along, thankfully, and I heard all about the different teams. And to be honest, even though I like singing and stuff, I was like, "No, I really want to do the painting because I just love doing art and stuff." Mm-hmm. So creative team was brought up, and at the time it was being run by Emma Cook and Olivia Walker. And I was like, "Oh my goodness, I would love to join this team." And I knew Olivia because she was in my year, so off I went and I signed up. And that's how I really got involved. I did the creative team backstage for my second year, and like, yeah, it just all started from there. And then I still made so many good friends, and just had to come back every year, obviously. Mm-hmm. And um, so, 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 what is your role at the current? Like, what is your role in this year's panel then? This year, I'm producer. So, in my first year, I was just a member of the creative team, and then in my third year, I was asked to be the creative director. So, I was joining the committee then for Panto, and now this year, I'm basically in charge of the committee. You could say so. I'm the producer. So, as producer, I kind of a lot of the work I started back in June. So, I've been working on this since then. It's been a lot of admin, a lot of kind of checking our budgets and stuff like that and getting our merchandise sorted and our branding and then you know just kind of getting like our auditions all ready to go and most importantly you could probably say our script writing which has been a really exciting thing to do it's very unique experience from Stromillis for sure so I've been working on that with Matthew Rice and Sarah Miles who are my two lovely directors this year and they've been great like we've just met up probably every week since the middle of July so thankfully with our whole current situation that actually worked out pretty well for us because of the whole restrictions and stuff we were able to actually make to write the script which was such a relief because doing it over zoom would have been some trek like yeah no, no, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to put, also point out that this year's panto is Alice in Wonderland as you can see it you know, is indeed mentioned that at the start so how did you come across Alice in Wonderland is there a specific reason you went for Alice yeah, there is and there isn't. Like, I really like Alice in Wonderland. So I really wanted to put this idea forward. I'd also heard just kind of through the grapevine that in previous years, Alice in Wonderland was brought up to, like, as a suggestion. So each year, the committee will decide between three ideas. So every person, so the producer and the two directors, put an idea forward. And then the whole committee votes on those three ideas. And whichever one has the most votes is the one that we go with. And I'd heard every year, like, oh, Alice was maybe mentioned or they thought they couldn't do it or they weren't sure how to do it. And it's a bit of a weird one because it's not very much like Alice's story is very different from, you know, kind of a lot of the other fairy tale stories, you know, where like boy meets girl and all this type of stuff. So we were like, oh, maybe Alice would be quite a good one. And I thought for a pantomime, Alice in Wonderland is very different and it would be very bright on stage and stuff. So that's how we came across it. And yeah, we're just going with it this year and it's great. So you're keeping it unique, kind of like Alice in Wonderland, it's such yeah. a unique mm-hmm. year, what, I, what could be yeah. a more unique musical than Alice in Wonderland? Because it was, I, I, exactly. I, I was very surprised when I found out it was Alice yeah. in Wonderland, I wasn't really expecting it, I was more thinking it was going to be yeah. something exclusive or the sound of music or something like that. Yeah, but to hear a lot of people have said that. This is going to be brilliant, like, you know. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so, yeah. Um, so how do you, like and at the time of filming I must mention the auditions are happening um but mm-hmm. while this when this comes out which is um obviously Tuesday at a quarter past seven hopefully this um how would people get involved because you um, um correct me if I'm wrong but people can still apply to be part of the backstage like yourself 
Of course, yes. So the backstage teams, we have like a number of backstage teams. And if you go on to our Instagram and Facebook handles, that's just Astra Millis Pantomime, you will find a Google Documents and you can sign up there. So you can join our backstage teams. So they're the ones that help take on the sets during our shows. You can join technicals. So they're the lights and sound team. You can do front of house and they're kind of welcoming, things like that to the audience. You can also do the creative team, which is the one I joined in second year, which is building and painting sets. And then there's also our costumes and makeup team. That's another team you can join as well. So like, I would encourage you to join any because they're all very diverse. And it's one of those things, a lot of people who join just have such a good time regardless. And it feels like you just want to multiply yourself to be in every team because they're all so good and so different. So yeah, you can sign up using our Google Documents link or you can contact myself, me and Vicky, and I'll be able to point you in the right direction. But it would be great to have you for sure. And it's also it's important to point out um even when you're in the backstage, it's not like you're less important because look at you, you oh, started no. off backstage and now here yeah. you are with you, so the panda like, you know, it's not like you're... Exactly. So it's very different. Or you, are you thinking you are having an very active role and you do feel part of the panda? Oh, 100%. Yes, without a doubt. Um, actually, one of the key reasons I got the role of producer was because I had experience on the committee, but I wouldn't have had that experience if I hadn't been creative director and that's a backstage team. So... If you look at our committee, the majority of people on that committee themselves are backstage. So really the ratio is more backstage to on stage and by no means are they any less important. Without our backstage teams, the show would not go on as they say, like it's just impossible for it to run. We would not have our nice sets or costumes and we wouldn't have our snacks at halftime, we wouldn't have our lights, we wouldn't have anything. We wouldn't have people to lift all of our heavy trees on stage. So no, they're just as important, of course. So why should students get involved? Um, do you ha- do, I take it, does Panto include degree enhancement, does it? Yes, it does. So first and foremost, for obviously your degree, your degree enhancement, you do qualify um, for Panto. So when you do your pantomime, you will get your hours for your college engagement. And if you were to take part in pantomime at any year, you will cover it completely because you're there so often that it, you, know, you will cover it. But of course, yeah, there's that. And then I suppose if you're looking at the more the mentality and the student life, it's just a great way to get involved with Strand. I feel personally like I made so many friends every year join Panto. And obviously, the longer you're in it, the more friends you'll actually gain as time goes on and you'll meet new people and you'll like kind of form groups of different people. And it's really, really nice. Like without a doubt, I wouldn't have met people in other year groups if it wasn't for Pantomime. So I couldn't encourage it enough. You mentioned that obviously this is a very positive event, but obviously, as I mentioned at the start, there's a very different time. It really is a changed world. And obviously, coming across, that brings across many challenges. And of course, something like Panto, which relies so much on interaction with the audience and all this here stuff. Like, what challenges are you currently facing? Like, it can't, like, just, I know just in usual Panto, you like, he's behind you. Oh, no, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. He's two metres behind you. <laughs> Um, you can't really do like that, there, can you? Uh, how does how you, what challenges are you currently facing as a producer in terms of creative and just general uh, organisation? It's there is a good lot of problems. I have to say, in my own experience, this is the tightest I think our committee has ever been. We have had to work as a unit since basically June, and it's been quite a stressful period of time. So I'd like to extend my thanks to them publicly for now already because I just think they're wonderful. Like. Go team. But at the minute, obviously our auditions are taking place. Everything changes day to day based on what governments say on restrictions and guidelines and what our own university college says themselves. So obviously we have to go by what our staff say. So if the plans are changed last minute, that is what we have to do and we just have to do it. So I do applaud the committee because they're very quick and they're very kind of focused and driven and they'll just do it without questions asked. And I really appreciate that. But that is one of the concerns for us is more plans can change very quickly and it's hard for us to adapt to that especially if we have set advertise something or have given students different information and then the day of we have to change all of our plans so it's very kind of that's a problem we have at the minute and then as well I suppose just general planning and meeting up and things has been difficult because obviously at the beginning especially we couldn't be together or you know, at the minute we still have to social distance and things like that and it's just very complicated and um, obviously we can't be a bubble together because we're from different households so it's things like that at the minute we just have to be very very safe on but I'd like to let everyone know that we have done risk assessments as our committee members for their each respective departments and we are following those very strictly 
So you can are totally safe if you come to Panto. But yeah, things like that and coping with our budget and things as well, because it's taken a big hit this year with the arts sector, as I'm sure people are aware. Theatres and things are taking a bit of a hit, so we're trying to be self-funding a lot. So look out for our merchandise if you'd like any sometime later this year. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, obviously, here on Planet Strand, our audience is not just the students, current students, but also past students and possibly lecturers as well. Um, obviously, they may not be auditioning or taking part in back to those, but would they like to come along? Um, currently, I know obviously you can't give a concrete answer in this current time, but um, if people want to go and watch it, is there any um, idea of what, how, this, how is it going to be viewed? Or At the minute, it's still uh, kind of up in the air because we're in discussions as time goes on. So obviously, if we make a plan now, it could change in October, which will then change in November and December. So it's a bit kind of up in the air. At the minute, we're kind of planning for live shows to take place as they usually do but with restricted audience. We're taking our guide from theatres as they are now, but also cinemas. So in a way that they're, sorry, <clears throat> in the way that they're already open, we're kind of taking our lead from them and we will have socially distanced audiences and, you know, we will try our best to accommodate for everyone, but obviously our capacity won't be as full as it usually is. So we can't expect a full drama theatre, but I don't think anyone was expecting that when we realised Panto was going to happen this year, thankfully. So, you know, we're prepared for that, but that is kind of the way we're heading. Hopefully shows in December but with restricted audiences so I think it'll be more of a first come first serve situation but I will definitely let you know here in the tag on our social media so it's that. obviously definitely going by the term of the show will go on then yeah you really are hopefully so that, yes <laughs> oh yes we are definite <laughs> we must get it to go on yeah mm-hmm. well thank you very much for joining us and um, today thank it, you it's been a pleasure obviously if anyone in any of our audience here want to get involved, um, feel free to drop me down an email. Um, obviously, if you can contact me, she'll be on the um, as another member on the panel committee if you have any questions. Do you have anything else you want to finish with me? No, I just want to say thank you all for listening to me. No problem at all. Obviously, guys, follow us on the Instagram, the Facebook, and obviously our new, brand new YouTube page. Remember to subscribe and click the notifications. And thank you very much for joining us. Until next time, goodbye.